This video is presented by Canadian Gundam. $10 flat shipping costs from coast to Canadian coast. Please visit their website at canadiangundam.com. My name is Chris. I'm from the Gunpla Network. I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the HG Gundam Dentalion. Again, I have not uh, read the manga that this guy appears in, so I'm not sure of the history of it. Um, when I do the uh, build and review, I will give a more detailed history of this kit. Today, we're just doing a quick unboxing here. So, as usual, we have the awesome Bond Eye. Um, artwork on the box here. Uh, this one has something a little bit different. I wasn't sure what this meant. It says first production limited accessory Gundam Tri Age card. Uh, it appears to be a Gundam Age arcade machine that's only in Japan and I guess you save your games to it I've been told. Very cool. Um, this guy is a typical uh, over-the-top kind of Gundam, which is my kind of Gundam. I love it. He's got these giant arms. It almost has sort of a Gundam Age look to him rather than a uh, Iron-Blooded Orphans look. Um, I sure hope that giant axe is in the box. I love uh, melee weapons. All right, let's uh, have a look inside here. So here's the Gundam Age Tri card. It's uh, very cool. Unfortunately, I can't read most of it since it's in Japanese. This was also included as well. I guess it's. I don't know if they give you bonus stats in the game or whatnot, but uh, I'll have to get somebody who uh, can read Japanese to translate that for me. And the first bag here we have some decals. Not too many. Not bad. Got some giant bits here, which I'm assuming are the uh, the beefy arms bits. Looking good here. Old poly caps that we're all used to seeing. More beefy arm bits, I'm assuming. And I'm not seeing the axe, so I guess the axe must be one of those option packs. So I will have to keep my eye out for that. Because I love melee weapons. Again, because this is one of the newer IBO kits, we have English and Japanese. I'll just quickly read the description here since I can actually read it. The Dentalion was finally completed just before the end of the war after repeatedly making significant changes to the plan based on the combat records of other Gundam frames that were placed into combat service in battles against mobile armors. As a result, the Dentalion, with its design philosophy of breaking up the progress of a war with a single machine, showed sufficient military results in battles and mobile armors. With mobile armors, sorry. In recognition of its achievements, the family that owns Italian were allowed to use the name Zalmfort. And even now, 300 years later, it continues to have a strong presence under the post-war Gallarhorn. So I guess it's a manga that takes place after the TV series. Uh, the pilot's name is Zaza Fossil. Self-proclaimed male and mercenary who operates in Italian and appeared before the RG Mirage and others. He is 20 years old. He demands that the Tanto Tempo hand over the sisters they had under their protection. Hmm. Again, I haven't read the manga, so I'm not 100% sure what all that means, but okay. 
uh, some action pics of the dentalion here. And at least I hope that sword is in there because that looks amazing. Uh, this is your typical one sheet uh, HG IBO. Looks like it progresses like many other IBO kits. Build the frame, stick the armor on, and you're done. This one appears to have uh, a bit more color pages in it than your average uh, HGO IBO kit. I'm sorry, I can't get that all in frame there, guys. Looking good there. All right. That's the... Uh, Dantelion unboxed. I look forward to building in the this and reviewing. Uh, the next review after this will be the Goof R35 that I've already unboxed, and I look forward to that as well. Happy building, guys!